Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I'm here at the Polaris booth with Dave and we are going to dive deep into the brand new Polaris Expedition Overland specific built vehicle. Stay tuned. All right, Dave, so tell me, what was the, what was the initial thought process behind getting into the Overland realm with the Polaris? Yeah. Well, we've been following the adventure space for a long time, right? And obviously, you know as much as anyone that, you know, outdoor activities have been just growing in popularity. And, and to be honest with you, you know, a handful of us visited Overland Expo about five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. We're just blown away with the innovation and the thoughtfulness of, you know, going off the grid, taking all your gear and being really organized and prepared. And uh, that really inspired us and figured that we could bring some of those innovations yeah. into side-by-sides and offer customers uh, another solution to get into overlanding and off-road adventure. Oh, perfect. All right, so the side-by-side -side world is really known for going fast. Like yep. that, it, originally it was for ranch work, right? It was like yep. utilitarian, yep. and then that progressed into just higher speeds, better suspension, and people kind of pushing that envelope. Yeah. Is this kind of a slowing things down for, for that type of industry to kind of, you know, I don't want to be negative, but the trails are kind of clogged with those dudes that want to rip through them. Yeah. Is this intended to maybe slow things down for people? Yeah, it really is. It is, you know, we found it is about the experience, right? Um, but, you know, a player's off-road vehicle is very capable. It's very trail worthy, right? But we are looking at what is that overall customer experience right. uh, of an adventure, uh, and they need to be uh, comfortable, they need to be capable, they need to be responsible, but bring all their gear with them. And so this is going beyond just trails. As you notice back here, we have you can bring all your activities with yes. you. You can camp, you can bring your family in comfort, um, and it's about everything you can do off-road, not just drive the vehicle right. itself, but if you want to go kike, you know, kayaking, hiking, fishing, biking, whatever that is, this is the first side by side that was really built to accommodate all those other sports, you know, because to your point, we have we have our utility vehicles and we have our sport vehicles, which are, are built for uh, that activity, but this is really built for going out and, and exploring the world, really. Excellent. Yeah. So, my name is Chase Gentry. We're here at the 2023 Overland Expo running across this awesome dude, and uh, he was actually standing on the back of this Expedition Polaris over here. This is actually my first time seeing it, too, so it's a real authentic first impression. And what's, what's kind of rad, I had been wondering when Polaris is gonna do this, because everyone is kind of transitioning to gearing these things out, and now it's got climate control, all kinds of off-road capability, and enclosed cabs, so you're not getting blasted with dirt after a day of riding. I think it's sick, man. What do you think about it? I dig it. I dig it? Yeah. I dig it. We should go on an adventure together in one. You say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool, man. I think it's, I think it's going to be a really awesome offering for the uh, the side by side space. Uh, you know, kind of bridging that gap between full blown, you know, airborne activities and adventure side of stuff. So it's it's a really cool offering that Polaris is offering. Here. Sick. So the displacement of an engine for yours is kind of set at a certain. I don't know, like higher revving race speed. Mm -hmm. Did you have to reconfigure your complete drivetrain to uh, to accommodate for the extra weight you're carrying for these? Yes, it's got a similar powertrain and driveline as our other off-road vehicles, which have obviously proven to be very capable. But for the weight of this, we work on the clutching, we work on um, the gearing, uh, and obviously the the speed that we need in order to carry uh, all all the gear. Um, okay. So yeah, it's 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 got plenty of power. It's got you know 114 horsepower. Um, but to your point, it's not about uh, the speed, it's about getting all your gear from A to B. What we do find is, because it's so off-road capable, you can travel a further distance in a day, or you can get to your campsite maybe a bit earlier, and that just leaves more time for fishing, camping, yeah, for and sure. everything else. So it's not about the thrill, but you know we all want to see more and experience more in a yeah. day, and this is a vehicle that can help you do that. Perfect. All right, so what are we talking about for suspension yep. and uh, like lockers. I know you guys have yep. front rear locker, central diff locker. Yeah. Is that kind of standard on all the Expedition models? Yeah, all of them are built off the same chassis and suspension. Okay. And so it's got you know 14 inches of ground clearance, up to 15 inches of travel. Fox shocks, uh, the Fox shocks are fantastic. Uh, they've got internal bypass technology. So, you know, it's really smooth on the trail, but it's got bottom out control okay. uh, for all that additional weight that you'll be carrying. Uh, it's QS3, so it's just uh, three easy settings. If you need to 
uh, stiffen the dampening uh, when you load it up. Okay. Um, so the suspension is very capable, high clearance, 30 inch tires, available bead lock. So you're covered from the terrain right. uh, uh, perspective. And the all wheel drive system is the, the tried and true Polaris system. So it is a rear locker. Uh, so we, you can have open diff uh, if you want to be sensitive to the ground mm -hmm. uh, or turning around in, in a tight spot. Uh, it's got a rear locker. And then the front is what Polaris has had for a long time, which is an overrunning front drive. And when the rear wheels uh, slip at all, uh, then the front wheels engage and then your four wheel lock. So okay. it gives you a really nice, uh, uh, handling and agility uh, when you're driving because it's not locked, but as soon as you need those front wheels, they engage automatically. So it's really easy. It's just a switch on the dash and, and you can go from turf to fully locked. Perfect. Yeah. All right, now let's transition to the interior. I see you have completely encased the cabin on these and it looks more than a standard, just like cold weather enclosure. Yeah. Yeah, we really wanted to make the vehicle uh, comfortable, uh, inviting, and confidence inspiring. You know, okay. so it's really intuitive, as you can tell. You know, from the doors, they're they're easy to get into. They're power windows. You get in the cab. Oh, wow. It's really uh, intuitive and, and familiar. You kind of already know where everything is because it's laid out just nicely on the dash with center stack and, and a shifter in in the center. Um, and it's a. Uh, um, yeah, it's quite comfortable. It's got heating and air conditioning. Oh, geez. So the beauty is as you're going out on your adventure, you're really for any weather that you're gonna you're gonna run into and you and your crew are gonna stay comfortable. Perfect. Now as far as stripping things down to make it more open feeling, like if you were in a yeah. Jeep, do the doors come off, like the windows, like how yeah. did, how is that working windshield? Yeah. Yeah, we really built the thing to be adaptable, right? Because, okay. you know, we tried to think about everything, but we know that the customers want to configure it themselves or yeah. adjust to the season, right? So, you know, this North Star model, I, I already mentioned, it's got the power windows. It also has a tip-out windshield, so you can open it up. Uh, but if you don't want to be fully enclosed, the stuff is removable. Uh, I can show you on a unit over here. We actually have skeleton doors, like the metal, okay. uh, metal doors, if you want that completely open air experience. Uh, we also have a half door in our ultimate uh, additions that are no windshield, no uh, upper glass, and that's more of that open air environment as well. So it's really customers choosing uh, what they're looking for, open air or completely uh, completely enclosed. Right. Yeah. So now what's what's the weight capacity? Say, you know, obviously this has got a rooftop tent on it, yep. you've got a bunch of recovery gear, you've got your fridge, you've got like, you've got a full week's worth of overlanding kit with you. Yep. What's the max weight capacity on yes. this? You can put about 1,200 pounds of people okay. and gear in it, you know? So uh, we've designed this from the ground up with, you know, a roof rack and gear and everything in mind. So you can you can see the, the roof is flat, but the structure was designed for it, you know? So we worked with Rhino Rack on it. The mounting points for the rack are already built into, yeah. the, into the roll cage and so that handles 150 pounds, so it's ready for the tent. Okay. And the beauty is there's there's no guesswork, there's there's no shopping, there's no drilling right. involved. Probably most importantly, you yeah. can buy the vehicle, you can put on the, the rack, and you can put on the tent all from one-stop shop. Uh, it's really, really easy, and that's just an example. You know, you go into the interior and the seats flip. We've got a, a track system. You can move D-rings around, accessories that are toolless. Uh, to move, so like I said, you can really adapt it to, to what you need, but it's got, yeah, about 1,200 pounds of carrying capacity and, and many different ways you can configure it. Okay, now speaking of capacity, what's the fuel capacity like? Say you're doing a long trip, you're, you're in the Colorado backcountry in the Alpine Loop, yeah. you know, what's the, what's the capacity and yeah. what's the mileage kind of like loaded down like this? Yeah, sure, so, you know, our typical side-by-sides have about a nine, uh, nine gallon tank. This one, we bumped it up to a 12 and a half gallon tank. And so uh, in mild conditions, working 200 miles to uh, even more than 200 miles off of a tank. Now when you're loaded up and if you're pushing it a little harder, you know, obviously that, uh, that, that, that depends on your driving okay. and capabilities. But, you know, we increased our range 30%, so even loaded down, uh, you're expecting 120, 150 miles uh, on, on a trip. So That's good. That'll make it work, especially in the Colorado where fuel isn't always available. That'll get yeah. you there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. So we, again, we want to make it easy for the customer. Um, and so we just extended their day with that, that extra 30% fuel range. Perfect. All right, now talking about recovery, I noticed that on these they have winches. Is that a standard feature for the expeditions or? It is, yeah. Every Polaris expedition comes with a, a winch from the factory. Again, we want to make it trail ready right, right. from the showroom floor. So uh, uh, for the buyers, they don't have to uh, go out and research it. It's got that, uh, that winch ready to go. It does have, we have a couple of nice technologies on our winches. Uh, it's got auto stop, so you can pull it all the way in and then with a magnet, it automatically uh, stops. And oh, wow. uh, also on our Ultimate and North Stars, uh, if 
uh, you live in a, a climate where you have to plow snow in the winter like right. we do, uh, we have plow mode too. So you put it uh, in, uh, in, in forward and the plow or the winch will release out. You put it in reverse and it pulls it oh, up. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of cool. We built some, uh, some technology into the winches as well. And we've That's got, smart. Every one of them comes with a 4,500 pound winch. Uh, but if you want to upgrade from that, we have a heavy duty bumper and a 6,000 pound winch, which is actually right behind you okay. uh, if you're looking for a little bigger winch. So. Nice. And this is a really good looking bumper right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk trim lines. Um, yeah. you, were, you mentioned different models. Yep. I don't know what those are. So go through the models with us. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, start off, we have two models. We have uh, what we're calling the Players Expedition XP. Uh, that has a dumping box, a rear cargo uh, storage area that dumps. That's more in line with our typical side by sides like the Generals okay. and Rangers that have dumping boxes. And we know a lot of customers still value that. What's really new about this is we have the Players Expedition ADV, and that uh, has a roof that goes all the way back, and it's kind of like a hatchback design, right? Okay. So that doesn't dump, but the storage area is much longer. Right. You can get both of those models in two-door or four-door. Okay. And when you get the four-door, it actually has five seats, which is great. So now you've got three across the back. Okay. Um, and the seats are configurable, so you can convert it from two, three, four, or five seating, depending on your passengers versus right. storage, and you can flip it forward so it's got a flat floor, uh, which is really uh, nice. And then our trim levels, each of those configurations come in a premium, ultimate, and North Star. North Star is the fully enclosed cab, heat, air conditioning, glass, everything else. Uh, the ultimate and premium uh, have the half doors okay. um, and plenty of other features as well, but the biggest difference is, is that cab system on the okay. North Star. Excellent. And I, I think I skipped over it, but recovery points. Yeah. Say your front rear, what recovery points do you have? Yeah, so on the front, we got them built into the uh, the bumper, so it goes straight into the chassis. We've got, the, like we talked about, we've got the winch, and then we've got points to put your shackles. Uh, the heavy-duty bumper behind you also has uh, the shackle points as well. And in the rear, we've got the tow hitch uh, and, uh, and tow hooks back there as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, these things look... Like the way you're describing them, I really feel like I, I can't think of anything that's lacking for like a full on week long trip in Colorado, Montana, Wyoming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the, the term we coined internally, uh, which I won't take credit for, actually, <laughs> I actually learned it from some of our colleagues out here that have been in overlanding for a long time is we got to deliver the 72 hour adventure, yes. you know, which I really liked because, you know, not all of us, including you know myself, can't take a month off to go right. you know, uh, cross country. As but much as we would like to. As much as we'd <laughs> like to, but we do get a few three day weekends right yep. here and there. Yeah. So, you know, I think 72 hours was a great spirit for the team to get behind and go, okay. we're going to build a vehicle. You could go off the grid for 72 hours. And with our size and scale of vehicle, I think we accomplished just that. You can really do that for 72 hours, take your gear out. Uh, and that's just been kind of our North Star, which was, which was really great to rally behind. And you know, we can be more excited to be here at Overland. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this idea started about six years ago here at Overland Expo. So it was fitting to show it for the first yeah. time ever at Overland Perfect. Expo. Yeah. Perfect. All right, now what is the price points on the different models? Yeah, so they start at about uh, 28 grand and go up to about 45. Okay. Uh, so the one behind us, you know, again, five seat, North Star heat, air conditioning, full cab system. Uh, uh, from the factory is about 45 with the, the tent and all the accessories, the light bar and everything you see here. Uh, it's close to a 55. Okay. But again, you can go and buy that at a player's dealership. You can finance it and you're ready to go with all the accessories right. uh, as shown here, which is a pretty nice shopping experience. So I'll, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Yeah. That is a high price point yeah. for a side by side. Yep. So, you know, how do you feel that that is going to be accepted by the community as far as? It's a side by side. You know, I know there's a ton of side by side dudes out there that are putting the rooftop tents in their their yep. rigs. They're going out there again after it. You know, how do you feel like that's going to be uh, received in the community? Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, you can buy it for yeah, it's 55, but uh, no modifications are needed. It's very off road capable. It can be your dedicated, ready to go, ready to go uh, off road and adventure and camp uh, vehicle. And so, the value of going to a single uh, point of purchase and get all that set up 
and you don't have to modify it or pay afterwards to change your vehicle, we think has a lot of value. Uh, and the customers we've talked to already are quite excited about that, that opportunity. So uh, we feel pretty good about it. Uh, we're excited to get it out in customers' hands. Uh, and we've already been talking to them this week. And they can't wait to do that and then see what else they can do with it. Right. So, you know, I, like I said earlier, we're inspired by overlanding. The uh, next move is actually we're going to be inspired by our customers and see what they do with it. It's going to yeah. be really exciting. I'm super excited to see what people really go out, what adventures they do with these rigs. Yeah, so. yeah. I am as well. Maybe we should go do some of that ourselves, <laughs> too, right? Let's yeah. not just walk. Let's take this one. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Are in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one last hard question. Um, there's a big push in a lot of communities to ban side by side, especially in Colorado. Uh, the towns don't want them anywhere near them um, because of the excessive speeds, the recklessness. You know, a lot of the side-by-side, -side, they tend to drink while they drive. You know, there's just mm -hmm. all that stigma now with side-by-side. -side. Are, are you doing anything to try to change people's minds in that arena? Yeah, we're definitely aware of that, and we're with you. We want to change that stigma as well. You know, we really promote responsible use, yeah. responsible driving. You know, we have done a lot with the vehicle to try to keep it quieter. Uh, we, we've lined the inside to bring the noise down. We have a comfort mode. Uh, on the dash that you put in comfort mode actually lowers the RPM so that so that it keeps its you know external noise down right. as well and then from the advocacy uh, part you know we've got an organization within players called Geared for Good okay. where we do uh, donate and support to a lot of advocacy groups and trail uh, building groups and we work with local regulators uh, regularly as well. Um, you know, for access to the trails, but also responsible use. Uh, so that is certainly top of mind, and we're going to continue increase that effort, particularly with the, the new brand of Players Expedition. Uh, that's uh, that's high on our priorities. Excellent. Well, I think you guys have a great product. Um, the price point was a sticking feature for me, but the way you're explaining it, it yeah. does make sense. I, there's definitely a market out there for it. You guys have a really cool product. I hope you guys sell a bunch of them. I mean, they're, they're, they catch your eye. Just walking yeah. past it, you're like, wow, yeah. what is that? Yeah. Well, awesome. I hope you guys sell a thousand, hey, and I thanks, really appreciate man. your time. Yeah, we got to go for a ride. Uh, yeah. I'd love to take you one of these days. Definitely. And, and show well, you what we can do. Let's do it. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you.